Whenever I feel nostalgic, whenever I want to go down memory lane, and sometimes I wonder what it was like shopping 150 years ago, I come right here. Welcome to the Old Market, Bangalore. This is one of the oldest shops that I've come across. You can come here if you want to get some licorice root, you want to get some turmeric root, and I found another very interesting thing here, which is called the soap nut, okay? Now, if you want to make your own shampoo at home, this is what you do. You soak this overnight with a little bit of water, water. and in the morning, this could be even ground or mushed into a paste, and it could be used as a shampoo. So, you know what? This is where your shampoo is actually made from, the soap nut. Just a block away, I am in Jamatia Momadia, a very, very quaint looking market because this market is just one narrow street. If you are going to take a cab or a taxi or a, or a rickshaw, forget about it because there is no access except by foot. Now, their speciality here is that they have a pre-mixed spice for everything. Haryali chicken, pepper chicken, tamarind rice, lime rice, chicken kebabs. Look what all we can do. If you want to know anything about these premixed spices, just ask me. Here I am with Rajesh Pulapali, whose store is over 110 years old. This is the fourth generation, and this shop is still thriving big time. His great 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 grandfather was an Ayurvedic doctor, yes, right? He was a doctor. So they used to sell different kinds of herbs, spices, as we call some jadi booties. But then, as time went by, they started expanding and they built the businesses by importing excellent quality of whole spices, dry fruits and whatever you can imagine. E.G. Kupaya store is definitely worth a visit. All items related to puja and prayers can be procured here. And there's one thing very very unique about this puja shop. In fact, this is the only puja shop in the world that I have seen that sells dates during Ramadan. So right here in front of me are some of the finest chilies that anyone can have in any kitchen. For example, these are all Guntur chilies which come from Andhra Pradesh and they are red, red hot. Salem chilies are also hot and are excellent for pickling. And here we have Chik Balapur which is another very spicy chili not very, very far away from Bangalore. And those two there are Begre chilies which only give a beautiful red color to your gravies. One thing what is there is that as a chef and as a food enthusiast, I love to come to the markets because I'll tell you, I don't have everything in my kitchen but always, I always look for new kind of ingredients and if you want to know a lot about chilies and what you can do with all different kinds of chilies, just ask me. So welcome to my kitchen. Now this recipe which I'm making now for you is a very simple one called lime rice. In the market, I love that premixed spice which we got. Now that premixed spice had urad dal, tuwar dal, uh, it had mustard seeds. It was a very nice, easy premix. If you can buy that, nothing like it. But if you don't get that premix in the market, don't stop yourself from making this beautiful recipe called Vicky's Lime Rice with Broccoli and Green Peas. Now, first of all, a nice hot pan or a wok, a little bit of vegetable oil, some mustard seeds, some jeera, some split green chilies, curry leaves, some of these dals and just give this a little mix. Now once these are kind of almost fried, what you need to do is you need to add a bit of hing and turmeric later but first let's toss in the rice. So we have some rice in here, beautiful. Give this a nice mix now, a bit of hing inside or as a fatida as we call it, thoda sa haldi, little bit of haldi powder, not too much, a nice mix into this, some broccoli florets which have been kind of blanched very quickly, beautiful, 
and next some definitely lime juice for lime rice. Last minute, a little bit of seasoning. So I would do a little bit of salt, some cracked black pepper into this. Woohoo! And my lime rice is ready. If you want to know anything about some really cool rice preparations, just ask me. Pepper chicken chili fry. I don't know where that comes from, but I'll tell you, this recipe is really good. Right from Kerala to Chettinad in Tamil Nadu, this recipe is very, very popular. But what I've done is to make things very simple and quick and healthy, mind you, is a, a skinless, boneless chicken breast, which has been cut into strips, just like this. Basic marination, a little bit of pepper, some salt, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic, and lemon juice. Give this a nice mix. Next, let's start off by adding a little bit of oil into this pan. To which we're gonna be adding some sliced onions. I don't wanna make them like completely brown. I just wanna make them lightly translucent, okay? Next, we have a marinated chicken breast. Give this a little mix. Next, our powdered spices. I've got a pinch of turmeric going in here. I've got some jeera powder, yani ke cumin. I've got a bit of fennel, yani ke soft powder. Into this as well. Some split green chilies. This dish is actually quite spicy. Some curry patta. Tomatoes which have been cut into strips as well. A few bell peppers. You could use red, you could use yellow, but I'm using green over here. Next, I have a little bit of soy sauce, which is going into this as well. I've got some ketchup. And I've got a touch of stock. You can use a little bit of water as well, just to give a light gravy to this dish. And if you want to make it really dry, so you have a perfect snack for a party, you can put just a dash of water or stock into it. Now I'm going to finish it with a little bit of coriander, fresh dhania, and some more coarse black pepper. If you want to know about some really good sensational chicken recipes, just ask me.